Hey, good evening, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I haven't been live the past couple of days, but if you remember the last time that I streamed, we were covering Scotty Morris as well as Nathaniel, but um, I am still going to have that video come back up. I did have to take it down. Um, I don't know what is going on with it, but it's having a difficult time processing. So um, uh, I'm, I'm trying to remain patient on that, but um, it is going to get put back up again. And so I um, had been watching the updates come out with Scotty all day. So I figured I would just make a video rather than go live about it um, and just touch on uh, some of the main updates that have come out. So um, this flyer that you see here, they um, the police department had just put out last night and it um, is got three photos of him, right? So the picture on the left is the cropped photo of the original photo that was put out, right? The one that the big talk um, has all the writing on it and that he was allegedly wearing when he went missing. Um, and then that picture is from the day that he went missing, right? And then um, you have the one in the center and the one on the right that are uh, kind of updating like with new photos, even though the most recent is in fact the photo on the left. Um, <clears throat> but it just states a 14 year old white male, five foot four, 150 pounds, brown hair and blue eyes, last seen March 16th around 8.30 p.m. on East Indiana Ave wearing glasses, a white shirt with black braiding on the front, red and black shorts and black shoes. If you have any information on Scotty, Dean Morris, please contact the Eaton Police Department, 765-396-3297 or 911. Um, so let me uh, bring you over. Well, actually, yeah. Um, I, I have seen um, really today, I mean, I guess I saw a couple people maybe cover him last yesterday. I don't know, but today a huge influx. I mean, ginormous uh, amount of people are um, covering him. So I am glad that people are realizing and recognizing that there has been an emergency going on um, and that this this little one needs coverage. Like this is really concerning and um, it's very important that we get his face out there as much as we possibly can, because if he is out there, we he's not safe. You know, he's, he's not. Um, I, and then again, there's questions of like, I don't know, you know, what's going on with home? Mm, I don't know. Right. But OK, so uh, the reason I brought us over to this page is on the police page. It says, please refer to this story from today with the Star Press, which is what we are on right now. Um, and then it said that they'll update us later uh, as they're still investigating at, at the time they were. And um still asking if you want to volunteer for the search party um that you just contact uh just dis uh, dispatch and they put the number out there so um i brought us over here so that we can look at this so scotty moore is still missing after polygraph test infrared cameras and search parties right and then here's the photo um a search for a missing 14 year old Eaton Boy entered its fifth day on Monday. Scotty Dean Morris, 14, left his family's home around 8.30 p.m. Thursday and has not been seen since. Quote, we've conducted several interviews and polygraph tests, Eaton Police Chief Jay Turner said Monday morning. The search parties made up of both law enforcement professionals, emergency responders, and volunteers combed the area around Eaton, a town of about 1,500 residents, nine miles north of M Muncie, on both Friday and Saturday. Quote, it's unbelievable the way the community has come together, Turner said, referring both to the searches and efforts by others to support those looking for the teen. Officials with Delaware Community Schools were on hand with Eaton Police on Monday in providing school buses to transport searchers. The on-the-ground search efforts were temporarily halted on Sunday to allow Indiana State Police troopers in helicopters to scan the area using infrared cameras. The searching was to resume Monday and areas included near the Iron Bridge east of the unincorporated community of Granville and near other bridges along Eaton Wheeling Pike. Officers with the United 
um, oh, I don't know where I got Oneida, uh, the Indiana Com <clears throat> Department of Natural Resources were also going to search areas of the Mississippi River. The searches are not being randomly conducted. Um, the Delaware County Emergency Management Agency has helped set up professional grid searches. Turner said that his department has had no previous dealings with Scotty Morris, who the chief said was described as a very nice young man by those who know him, including staff at the Delta Middle School. The teen had apparently been in a conflict with adults at his home on Thursday, and after the disappearance, Eaton Police at first posted a photo online, reportedly taken earlier that day, that showed the youth looking unhappy and wearing a shirt that had words scrawled on it, referring to the boy as a liar. The photo was later cropped to no longer show the wording on the shirt. Turner said that the photo had been posted quickly because of concerns for the boy's safety, given that he was last seen wearing shorts and a t-shirt on an especially cold evening. And so asked whether the boy's parents were considered suspects in the disappearance, Turner said, we've done polygraph tests and we're not, um, and we're looking elsewhere, right? So tests are done and they are not looking in the direction of the parents. One hope is that the teenager might be staying in a local home. Delcom schools are on spring break and some families are out of town on vacation, Turner noted. The statewide silver alert for Scotty was issued at 7.30 p.m. on Friday, and he's described as 5'4", 150 pounds, brown hair, blue eyes, and last seen wearing black shoes, red and black shorts, and a white t-shirt with writing on the front. And if you have any information, the Eaton Police Department number is 765-396-3297 or 911. And I am actually going to bring you over to the next thing that they put out and show you that. So um, the next thing was them uh, putting out a video and this is actually um, with his mother, right? So kind of interesting, kind, kind of interesting, right? Um, I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Uh, this is the parts where I wish it was live. So I really wanna know what you guys think about this. Please like put it in the comments if you have a, an opinion either direction. 8.30. Yeah, Matthew, we're in Eaton, Indiana. This is just north of Muncie. The search continues for 14-year-old Scotty Morris, missing since 8.30 on Thursday night when he left his home. I'm going to introduce the police chief here, Jay Turner, who's also going to introduce the mother. Thank you very much. Um, this is Felicia Morris. Uh, she is Scotty Morris's mother. We've been working with Felicia uh, for the last three days and uh, been very cooperative with our investigation. Uh, we had decided that that uh, she wanted to talk to Scotty personally. Uh, so that's why we're here. Do I hold that? No, you're okay. Go ahead. Scott, I love you. And I want you to come home. And I know that you're mad and you're confused and... I'm afraid that you're scared of all of this. Everyone is out looking for you, and we're not trying to scare you. You're not in trouble, okay? Um, if you're in a house and they come to you and you don't want to go out because it's the cops, reach out. Me and Dad will come get you, okay? I love you, and I just want you to come home. I need to know that you're safe. Please just call 911 tell anyone just i need you home i just need you home okay and i love you so much okay thank you that is uh, felicia morris the mother of scotty morris who has been missing since 8 30 on thursday night when he left his house now the concern is that scotty was just wearing a white t-shirt and black and red shorts and so uh he is it's obviously been very cold these last few days. And so there's great concern for where Scotty is. The search has continued for four days. There are some 90 volunteers out searching today, Matthew. We've been out with those crews as the search continues along the Mississippi River here in Eaton. Again, we're just north of Muncie in Eaton, Indiana, a community of just 1,500 people looking for this 14-year-old who's missing, Scotty Morris. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Rich. Our Rich and I live there in Eaton. 
You just heard right there from Scotty's mother, a very emotional uh, statement from her. Thanks, Rich. We'll continue to keep you updated, and we are just praying that Scotty is found safe soon. Yeah, so that's the first uh, we get to hear from, from the parents, and whew, I don't know. Uh, it mm, Kind of what I'm getting, I could be way off, I'm not sure, is that I think she feels real responsible, um, is what I feel. It looks like she feels very responsible, like very guilty and regretful, right? Mm -mm, that can't be good. I wouldn't want to be her right now, you know, having whatever they did with the shirt, right? Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know, but oh, that's, so that's just kind of the feeling I got off the get-go there when I saw it. Um, but then uh, the last video they put up here was um, a video for the public from Deputy Chief Liggett, I could be saying his name wrong, um, addressing the search and investigation to locate Scotty. And this is the last thing that they put out for today. So let me play this for you. Hello, my name is Chris Liggett, I'm Deputy Police Chief with the Eaton Indiana Police Department. Uh, we're doing this live uh, video uh, to put out or to squash some rumors that we're hearing. Uh, at this time, there's no crime scene. There's nothing being taped off uh, for part of this investigation. Uh, the haircut itself that people are talking about had been done prior. That was done prior due to Scotty's request at a, a hair salon. Um, that was not done the night of, that was done days prior. Uh, there is a multi-agency involvement, uh, local law enforcement, state law enforcement, volunteer fire departments, uh, surrounding counties, our county. Um, we're, we're all working together, several, several volunteers, hundreds of people have come out to help us, uh, family, friends, um, other public safety agencies have come out to assist us. Businesses have donated things, uh, flashlights, food, and it's greatly appreciated. But we wanted to squash these rumors that we're hearing on social media. Um, we want Scotty home safe. Uh, there, as of right now, the, the search will be uh, coming to a close and we're gonna suspend that uh, at sundown today. Um, and then we are going to have a multi-agency meeting tomorrow uh, for public safety. And we will go from there uh, to see what else we need to do. Um, at this time, we just ask if, uh, if anybody knows where Scotty is at, you please reach out to us. We want to get him here safe and uh, to try to help him in whatever he needs in the family. Um, there have been several interviews done. Polygraphs have been conducted. Uh, at this time, we're still looking at other avenues and we have no new leads, no new information. We're kind of at a standstill right now. So anything that you guys may know that can help bring Scotty home, or to us, uh, that is that would be greatly appreciated. So thank you. Yeah. So um, hold this up for us. I I don't know. I mean, I mean, ultimately, it shows that we're going to have to wait. Um, I don't know. That they're going to be doing a search tomorrow, right? They said they're going to meet. They're going to have the meeting and and discuss. Um, public safety but they they would then go from there so it's not anything that's guaranteed um i don't know i'll be following it tomorrow though for sure and i will keep you guys posted um uh, an update as as uh it goes along and my other video should be coming up maybe today uh, if you didn't get to see it um um when i first put information out about him as well as nathaniel so I'm hoping I'm just going to come up tonight, but uh, I'll keep you guys up to date on what's going on. Please continue to pray and um, let's hope that we can we can get him found and that he's safe and okay. But I hope that you all had a great day. I've missed you all so much and I think I'll be back tomorrow. So I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Good night, everybody.